So right now I am on my way to my local little scrap yard landfill recycling center to get these propane tanks, get these microwaves so we can build Mark 4.5, baby, baby. So let's go ahead and get this stuff right. You know what I'm saying? Every time I come to the scrap yard, I also like to go ahead and recycle all the aluminum and glass I have, the aluminum cans and such. Cause it's like, why not while we're here, right? So we got a few tanks here. Take a look at that. So unfortunately there weren't any microwaves there today for me to take. So we can get the parts out of the microwaves, the transformers, the magnetrons, but I'm not even mad because that container we got, that probably like, that's the best container I could have got for this, honestly. That thing, you know, not only is it big, it's also, um, it has the vertical height that we need to to make the the machine so honestly i don't even really need to splice any things together that material or that container is exactly what i need uh right there so that's great the only other better thing would be if there were two of them because if there were two i would love to weld two big tanks like that together so we could have an even longer reactor because for continuous operation it needs to be long enough to where the plastic is completely broken down by the time it reaches the end of the the chamber so the chamber would need to be longer maybe there's some ways i could extend this without having a second tank if i could find another piece of metal of a similar or hopefully the same diameter it doesn't need to be a tank it could just be a pipe at this point somebody mentioned to me in a comment that goodwill is actually a pretty good place to get microwaves from for cheap ideally of course i like to get them for free because they're scrap microwaves anyway but as i said the place i normally get them from do not have any and they might have some next week but i'll go and take a look at goodwill to see if we can get some for cheap see how much of their price i wouldn't pay more than 20 dollars per microwave uh so yeah we're, we're on the way to goodwill let's go No luck at the Goodwill with the microwaves. So we're gonna change plans, look for some different sources to get, collect these microwaves at. All right, so here it is. The 100 pound propane tank. As you can see, in comparison to the 40 pound propane tanks we made Mark IV out of, this is bigger lengthwise as an individual and widthwise or circumference. This is actually going to be quite an improvement in terms of how much volume it will be able to hold, even if I just used it as this. So this singular tank is as long as Mark IV, and Mark IV is made out of two tanks. So really, now that I say that, I actually want two of these tanks because I want this machine to be at least semi-continuous. And I believe for that to be the case, we will have to make the machine pretty long, at least 60 to 70 inches and this right here is about 40 inches um just under 40 so we're gonna need to get another one of these um because i want you know like i said i really want this to be an improvement not just a 2x version of this a bigger version of this i want this machine to truly have new features new technology in it new things to test out so let's get another 100 pound propane tank here so now i'm on my way to my local ace hardware because I looked online and they have 100 pound propane tanks empty for a pretty good price actually, under 200 bucks. So I decided, you know what? I was trying to find one on Facebook Marketplace for so long, but I couldn't find one that would have been worth the price in the drive. Like I found some, 800, some 100 pound propane tanks, but they were two hours away and it was $80. I was like, well, in gas, I probably be coming close to one. 30 with everything combined so at that point i might as well just get one from ace hardware and it's going to be empty so i can cut right into it right away so on our way there let's see what they got got it in there baby all right here we have it next one you can tell it's a little bit shorter than this. Are they the same diameter? It looks like they are. The eyes can play tricks. Measuring tape does not.
about 13. About 13, so same diameter there. This one's just a little bit shorter. Probably this down here is gonna be cut off anyway on both of them is what makes that one taller. So you guys know the drill. You know what we did with Mark IV. I'm gonna cut off this, this guard, cut off the stuff at the bottom. We're gonna cut this tank. We're gonna cut this tank probably twice. Well, actually, we'll cut this tank twice. Ch chopped off, ch chopped off. Weld on a manway, just like that one. It's going to be a bigger manway, of course. And then weld these together. Uh, and then let's see how what that's going to come out to. So individually, these tanks are... And I'm, I'm not measuring the guard. I'm measuring from the ground to the base of the valve. Yeah, so that's just about 43, 44. So put them together, we're over 80 inches long, which is going to be, that's over six foot. Uh, is that seven foot? It's just gonna, actually it will be seven foot because it's about 43 plus 43, which is 86. And uh, seven foot is 84, so 84 inches there. So this is gonna be seven foot long. And just for reference, Mark IV. Mark IV here. Uh, was, which was my biggest reactor. With all included, was 33 inches. So, Mark V, or this is going to be Mark 4.5, is going to be just under three times longer than this and the circumference of mark IV was 12 inches the circumference of this is um about 14.7 so it's bigger in all regards so hey as we as we uh have mentioned in the past with these machines bigger is better in terms of efficiency in terms of everything so it's gonna go really well this reactor here how many magnetrons do you guys think that this is going to need because this Mark III, I mean Mark IV, it, it could run off of three magnet. I mean two magnetrons. It could run off of two, but three was way better. So what that means, with this being almost three times the length, we're going to need about eight to nine magnetrons at the minimum. But I personally would go no less than ten. So that's what I'm thinking. Ten, like, it could be per side. So... Five on one side, five on the other. Or you know what I actually might want to do? I might want to do four on one side, four on the other side, and then two at the top because I want to experiment with if the microwaves rain down from above, would that make things better or worse? Maybe I might put three on the top total. We'll see. Or maybe four because like two per container. So one, two, one, two, that's four. And then uh, like one, two, one, two, another four one two one maybe we should do 12 so that way we can have four on the sides of each one two on the top of each one so 12 12 magnetron that's a lot of power right so listen i bought this tank brand new right so this is empty it has no propane in it but this one here i got this from the scrap yard and it's still full of propane probably a good like 15 pounds in there right so right now we're flaring this thing because it's going to take absolute hours in this little burner to uh flare out all the way but nonetheless we'll do that so then we can fill the thing with water empty it get it nice and cleaned up and then we can cut into it without having any explosion risk or nothing like that you know what i'm saying mate i see a microwave at the scrap yard let's get it Microwave collected, baby. Let's go. Hey, I just got the first microwave for Mark 4.5, baby. Y'all know what it means. Plastic plus microwave equals gasoline, baby. Y'all already know. Mark 4.5 in production. Let's go. Let's go.